It does smell really nice. Yeah. yeah, really, really nice. You can smell like right here, but like here, it's a lot stronger. Oh, interesting. I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> our sense of smell, aka our olfactory sense, is a key factor in experiencing the world around us. Taste, when we eat food, actually comes from the smell of food. It signals danger, such as a building on fire or spoiled food in your fridge. The most unique aspect about our sense of smell is its link to our memory. It is the only sense connected directly to the limbic system. Smell can remind us of places we travel to, the people we love, and emotions we felt in the past. We can all agree that our sense of smell is very personal and objectively difficult to measure or reproduce. So let's unbox what we receive from OVR technology. This is the kit. Obviously, we have the VR headset. It is by Pico. It looks like a Meta Quest 2 with the white finish on top. Very similar design architecture. And of course, the two controllers so I can control the experience inside the VR headset. This is one of the key device that is actually linked to the VR headset and is going to release the smell. And it's gonna go like this into my nose when I wear it. This is the secret sauce. It's kind of like an ink cartridge. It's protected in a bag to preserve the smell. And then this will be installed onto the device that released the chemical from here. The chemical inside is water-based to be environmentally friendly and safe. Before I mount this on the headset, we're going to insert this ink cartridge in here. Now it's set. When the device links to the headset, it's going to know how to release the chemicals from this device so I can sense the smell. And we're going to mount this cartridge on the device. Great, now this is mounted on the device. I'm gonna wear it so you can actually see how this looks like. So you can see that this device is right up my nose and I can actually smell the chemical from here. Okay, now let's dive into the actual experience together. I'm gonna put my headset on and I'm gonna turn on the device. It says you have successfully connected to ION, which is a device right up at my nose right here. And I see five demo experience. Rose, Campfire, Shore, Waterfall, Summit. And the idea is that I'm going to be able to see these virtual experience and also be able to smell what it's like to be there in person. That is going to add additional layer of immersiveness to the VR experience. Let me start with the rose. I think that's the simplest one. So I'm gonna click rose. Up until now, I can only use my visual and auditory and tactile experience. But smell is something I've just never experienced, even in other type of consumer application or consumer electronic device. You can rarely get the smell of it. So I see seven roses right in front of me. And I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna pick up a rose. Let's see, how do I pick up the rose? Or maybe I don't pick up the rose, I just get close to it. Oh wow, it's, it's very impressive. Like my nose is right up at the rose right here and I'm just smelling it. it. It doesn't feel like a cheap fake smell of some strong perfume. It actually smells like a realistic rose. What's interesting about OBR technology is that it works with an object. So right here, I'm pointing at the top of the rose bud and the rose is growing on top of this plant stem, like a green part. So I know if I get close to that stem, it doesn't smell anything like it because it's just a stem. Actually, I kind of smell the, feel like a grassiness still. But as I bring my nose up to the shape of the rose here, only if I get close to the smell, it release the smell right up my nose. But as soon as I walk away from it, I don't smell anything. And that's one of the challenge that OBR was able to solve. It's not just about releasing the smell and call it good, right? Because when I move away from it, the smell needs to actually disappear. 
So they built a technology where only when I get close to an object, I smell this beautiful rose. And when I step away from it, I don't smell it anymore. And that's a key way to make sure you don't mix up multiple smells and you end up with a strange smell. It needs to reproduce the reality. Let me do camping. Okay, I see marshmallow and the fire pit right in front of me. And I see like some camp tent and the bench. <sighs> I think I smell like smokiness here, the fire pit. Mushroom is like right there. Oh, wow. <sighs> this is like a nice smell of eat like a smoked salmon. The smokiness you get is like exactly what I'm getting right now. Wow. Okay, let me step away from it. I don't smell anything, just like regular air in the office right here. As I'm getting close to it, very impressive. It's not just creating the perfume pleasing to the nose. It can also emulate the reality. The smoke smell is just as important. Being able to detect the danger, and that's one of the problems that they tackle helping with the first uh, responders. When they get trained to detect the type of smell, is this like active fire or is this like after the fire is extinguished? They're able to respond better to the dangerous situations. Three states that people get in is fight, flight, or freeze. It's the freeze situation that they're trying to solve. If you can fight or flight, it's basically a state where you know what to do. If you freeze and don't know what to do, that's very dangerous. So you want to train the correct action and understand the situation that you're put in. Oh yeah. Oh wow, I can smell like a toasted marshmallow just right here. And just marshmallow is like right on top of this tree branch. Right near the fire pit, I can only smell fire or the smoky smell. But if I get close to the marshmallow, it has like a hint of like a toasted smell. Wow. Let me try the shore. That's completely different experience. I expect something maybe like a clean. There's like a little salty, the shore. Okay. I'm at the shore and this program also comes with some meditating programs. Like I see two bowls that I can grab here and this is for meditating purpose. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna focus on the smell. <sighs> Unlike the other examples, I don't physically like go into the ocean. So I don't get directly interacting with maybe the main object itself but I'm able to smell the surrounding, naturally what's occurring in the air. And what's cool about the OVR technology company is that they actually go to these locations that you're seeing in the screen. They're actually collecting the sample of the smell right there. They're able to go out into the location, capture the smell in person using a device, and then they turn it into lab controlled smell reproducing. That's one of the effort that I appreciate that OVR uh, go farther and generate those smells. Let me take a breath and come back. Yeah, I think I can uh, smell like the flavor from every flower, basically. And then when I move away, it kind of like disappear. And when I get in close to it, uh, it comes back. Yeah, awesome. You can smell like right here, but like here. It's a lot stronger. It's very uh, floral, not too strong. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, I can smell it. So. The smell is so natural. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> can I take this? Oh. Wood candle, or like sandalwood. It's a very Pacific Northwest scent. <laughs> I feel like there's a subtle sweet smelling coming out. Yeah, yeah, it's not like strong differences, but I can tell that there's no uh, fire smell. Oh yeah, I can smell it. It smells like lavender. Yeah, and it smells a lot stronger when you get closer. <laughs> no. I don't know the name of the plant but or the of the flower but wow This ball smell but like 
I don't know, like lavender or something like that. Oh, I do smell something. It kind of smells like a little, kind of like a, kind of a woody smell, but the scent is most potent by the balls, I think. Like I can see the boundaries in front of me as well, but I don't need to get closer to feel the fire, the wood's burning. So yeah, I feel like this one is even stronger than the rose one. Oh, um, marshmallow smells really good. <laughs> is there any smells coming from the tent? You still smell the campfire from over here. And then when I'm further away, I smell the burn from the campfire. And then I still smell it here. Wow, I can smell it. The fire, yeah. And the wood. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't. No, but I need to be so close. I'm going to end the uh, demo application here. It's really hard to, I think, for the sense of the smell because it is tightly linked to our memory. To trigger my memory or sense of relaxation, it has to smell as realistic as possible instead of some lab-made fake fume that I don't want to smell those all the time because it's very unnatural. But here, I get like some relaxed experience smelling what I smell in the shore excited to try out like all these kind of different smells especially as they bring this to a production and consumer grade level applications where maybe when I'm playing the game first person shooter I can smell like the mud or the green the smell of gunpowder which they are actually able to produce uh, at the OBR. Very excited to see us getting our hands on it, not just like in the demo kit, but just in general, I can just go to the store and buy the refill kit for the chemicals that produce the smell. Have my friends try it casually and, you know, at a consumer price that is very accessible for anyone to experience. That's it. We love trying out new technologies and sharing them with the world. If you're working on something cool or want us to build something for you, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe.